good morning good morning you guys i just wanted to get on before i started my day um just uh it is mid-october we're almost finished with this year and what i woke and woke up with my spirit again i don't know and this is for people who god is perfecting cleansing i woke up this morning to a facebook post from Angelo Polk, and it's really stirring something uh, up in me, and it said that God doesn't take us through troubled waters to drown us, but to cleanse us. And it took me back to the revival message last Monday from Jamal Pincus. It says it's quarry time, and sometimes when we have to go through something and God is trying to take us to a greater purpose, help us do greater works in him, uh, we have to be cleansed, purified, sanctified, consecrated. And the only way that happens is to go through some things so that he can cleanse us. All right. So if you are saying not again, God, I know I had to go through a situation yesterday at work. And I'm like, God, not again. You've already proven who you were. But it's not about me it's not about my feelings. It is about where God is wanting to take me. And when he, uh, like the man of God said last week, he is also preparing me for the place and the place for me. What I do know is that when I get to that place, I am going to be cleansed. I'm going to be humble. I'm going to be empathetic. I'm going to be passionate. And I'm going to know what not to do as and what to do so if you're saying not again god like i am lord not again why do i have to go through this again um just keep the faith keep praying keep asking god to cover you uh to send you intercessors to intercede for you um and to increase your faith and trust in him that all things really do work together for the good of those who love God. And if you love God, you know that no weapon is formed against you is going to prosper. And that when all is said and done, it's all for the glory of God. And that you're going to rise up and be cleansed and have a, a glow and a shine that only pe um, people will only say, God did that. And so if you're there, like, not again, God. Um... Uh, just know, yes again, and you made it through the last time, you made it through the last year, you made it through the last difficult situation, you made it through the last uh, court, you made it through the last hearing, God showed himself, showed himself strong, and sometimes it's not your disobedience, it's the other person, or the people he's trying to reveal himself to that's being disobedient, so because of their disobedience, and they know not who they mess with <laughs> because you're a child of God. God has to show them sometimes and you have to be the vessel that he uses to show his glory, his, uh, his love, his steadfastness, his uh, just faith and trust in his word. So if you're saying that again, just know I'm saying not again and we're going to say not again together, but God is going to get us through again and again and again. All things work together, Romans 8, 28. Uh, and my favorite, Romans 8, 31, if God is for us, <laughs> who can be against us? And that's nobody. So know that God is on your side and you just have to go through yet again. I love you guys. Curl peace. Come on, my, my bestie, my work bestie. You know we got to encourage one another. I love you guys. Have a terrific Tuesday. See you next time.